Benoit Suakoto was playing for Lens in France when in 2006, age 20, he was snapped up by the English Premier League team Tottenham Hotspur. Trey Sports discovered the Spurs' favourite is really laid back and doesn't take himself too seriously. But he does have a hobby that gets him pretty revved up. I'm Benoit Suakoto, footballer professional. And what I like most is a car. What started out as fun soon became a business idea. You don't understand, it's my car. With exclusive access to Benoit, Trey Sports reveals what it's like to settle down in a foreign country away from family and friends, including little everyday things that can prove to be a bit of a barrier. You speak to me? You speak very quick. More slowly. Surprisingly, he doesn't socialise much with his teammates and other footballers. Sebastian Bassong and Adele Tarat are the only footballers currently in his mobile phone. There is Bassong now, because we play in the same team in uh, Tottenham and in the national team, so there is Bassong now. It's only two names. Only two is enough. <laughs> what? Why is that? Because I, I see them uh, every day and uh, we don't call each other to go eat somewhere. Everybody have a wife or, uh, or uh, stuff like that, so... I will not call uh, one, uh, one, uh, one player from uh, Tottenham to say, yeah, can we go eat somewhere? But you haven't got a wife yet. Sorry? You haven't got a wife yet. No, I don't have a wife. I'm young. <laughs> Premier League season has just finished and we're en route to the Mayfair Hotel for the Best of Africa Awards Ceremony. The event of tonight is uh, about the African player in, uh, in England. And I hope I will win something. But uh, I think it's a good thing to, to make uh, stuff like that, you know, to make... Uh, to make the African player in uh, a front. And uh, like that, we can show as uh, we, uh, we have a big solidarity together. I don't know, you know, the Premier... You, you speak about the Premier League. You know, the Premier League is, uh, for me, is the best league in, uh, in Europe. So... And it's very, very hard to play here. But I think many people want to play in the league and maybe the African player have the best adaptation to, to the Premier League. Maybe why there is many African players in the, in the league. In 2011, more than 40 footballers from Africa played in the English Premier League. Yeah. <laughs> Despite this strong competitive streak, Benny remains fairly shy. When we asked him about a current football fashion, tattoos, we discovered a more philosophical side to his character. But does he have any secret tattoos that even his mum doesn't know about? No. <laughs> Why not? All footballers have tattoos. Yeah, I have nothing you can see. <laughs> yeah, I have one. But my mum don't know that. What would your mum say? Yeah. Stuff like that is disgusting. <laughs> What's your tattoo? Um, come on. Africa with a flag. With the flag of my country. The chain. Mm, it's like a prisoner. Uh, there is not many people who see this tattoo. <laughs> the man in the shop said, um, is uh, special for the first tattoo because many, many, many players said only God can judge me. <laughs> they, uh, they do it a lot, so he said, yeah, it's strange that I do it for the first tattoo. Despite what their mums might think, some players become addicted to tattoos, covering their whole bodies in a variety of designs. 